All right, mate. Welcome back. In this video, I'm just going to be doing another render for uh, the games that I'm working on. And in this scene, the main character has tracked the destination of another character. So he's arrived at this building, which is where the other character was found. So he's going to interact with this location and a person that's going to be standing round about here. So the first thing I need to do is generate a render for the actual location but I'm going to do things a bit ass about face purely because in order for me to get a render of the location all I have to do is hit the render button which is obviously not that interesting for you guys so what I'm going to do is I've got my camera in place I'm actually going to add the character in question and then if it turns out that she's facing the camera with no clothes on then obviously we will um, I will blur that out but the main thing is that she's going to be a guard at the door that the main character has to work his way around um, in some way or other. There's multiple options on how to do that, but the essentially the, the main plot of the storyline will continue on regardless of how he gets past, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start adding alternate paths based on certain actions further down the line, so this may not necessarily have an impact on the immediate outcome of the scenario, but further down the line how the character chooses to deal with this particular situation will impact other parts of the story. So yeah, this might take a while, so I will um, get you when it's finished loading in. Okie doke, so here's my character loaded into the scene and lost it completely, there we go. Right, so the camera's kind of over there and it's pointing at this door being the access that she's controlling. So all we need to do is put her in a menacing type of pose and make sure that she's at the right level. So it shouldn't be too difficult, he says, optimistically. Let's just drag her over here. And she's kinda, so this is not your average doorman, apart from the fact that she's obviously a young, attractive woman. Um, the fact is, is that she is um, a discreet doorman. She's controlling access to the door, but obviously not making it obvious that she's doing so, which is a fairly, important detail so we need her to be in a pose that is <laughs> I don't know the exact word I'm looking for but she needs to be in a very specific kind of pose in order to sort of pull that off she's guarding the door but she's not guarding the door so we need to give her a, a kind of a leaning pose I suppose would be the best thing for it there we go poses by function and then leaning and see what we've got. Maybe we'll find something, maybe we won't, maybe we'll have to go with something else. But if you don't know until you look, that's the thing. So yeah, she's she's leaning kind of back against a railing perhaps. Let's have a thing. Let's see if this one does the trick. Let's have a looky. And if not, we can always try something else. So she's leaning back against, I want to say this railing, she's actually really not far off being the right height here. So let's just rotate uh, this way so she can actually be facing the camera. And we'll put her in close to the right position. She's going to have to pretty much be back right up against the Right, so she's over the railing there. Bang on, I would say that is. Kind of looking in the wrong direction, but that's fine. We can adjust her head. Standing pose. I would say that we've accidentally, or I've accidentally put her in exactly the right position. So now all I need to do is adjust her head position so that she's looking more out to the street rather than into the building. Which shouldn't be too hard. We can use the... We don't want to go sideways on, we can always just twist her head. And then we'll give it a slight side to side in the opposite direction. Give it a bit of bend. Eventually, Test Studio will catch up. And then we can adjust the side to side because clearly that was too much. So there we go, that looks better. And then we can go back to our camera and just see. Yeah, we can see it. She looks like kind of like she's looking at the camera, which we don't really want, but that's fine for now. So I need to now adjust, as you can see, the foot from the camera looks all kinds of wrong. 
that's because it's pointed in entirely the wrong direction. So if you just tilt that down a little bit, go back to camera, see how that looks. So now I've got to run the simulation because our hair is deforced and I believe our top is deforced as well. So we just run that and see what comes out. Okie dokie. So got a simulation done. Didn't bother simulating the top, just kind of left that as is. It doesn't look too bad from what it is. Um, simulate the hair. Got a reasonable, bear in mind this is a, a distance shot, so tiny little details at the moment aren't vitally important. When we come in for the close up, then it's going to be important. So if we go back to the camera now, we can just pop this into NVIDIA IRO mode and just see what the crack is. And now we can see it's looking pretty good actually. Um, she's, you know, looks like she's leaning on the on the railing. She's just kind of there. I feel like maybe I want to put a billboard of somebody walking along the street up here as well. Just so that this doesn't look like an abandoned street. This is meant to be kind of a standard ordinary street scene. So I'm just going to jump back into texture shaded mode, and I'm going to find some billboards. So let's just content library and search for billboard. And then we can come out of our camera view and back into perspective view. I'm going to hit reset view and then that just means that our billboards are going to appear right in front of the camera there. So I'm thinking, yeah, I've got multiple options to choose from. Kind of digging this one. Yeah, that works. So we'll rotate. We're going to just slide her over this way. She looks like she's on the street and then we're going to hit control and or we could just use our drop down menu here and then we're going to hit move to floor which is control D and that just lifts the billboard up so that it's actually where it's meant to be and then if we go back to our camera view and then we can run the uh, orient script and just hit accept and then that will orient her in the correct way and weirdly it looks like she's hovering off the floor which is kind of strange so i'm going to change the angle because this this is like a diff slightly different so i'm just going to go to change the angle and then i can just drop the vertical angle down a little bit hopefully hopefully it will provide us with an alternative option hit accept and then maybe it'll change maybe it won't it's all good so i'm actually going to go back over to there and see to me it, you can see that she's hovering off the floor it just looks silly so we'll come down and we're just going to drag this billboard until it actually looks like she's making contact with the floor and then if we go back to our camera view that looks a lot more sensible what well, it does to me anyway so we can go back into our nvidia iro mode and we can just see how that actually pans out and yeah that looks okay she kind of looks a little bit um unlit for want of a better way of wording that but i can kind of live with that because i'm going to add a little bit of depth of field so that the camera is kind of focused on this area of the image and this area of the image is slightly blurred uh, worst case scenario i can just move her right back which is something actually i think i'm going to do so i'll go back to uh, no, that's entirely the wrong bloody camera. That's what we want to do. Go to perspective view. Jump into texture shaded mode again. And then we can get our move tool on the woman jogging billboard. And we can just slide her back. She might not even be in shot now, but I think she will be. We go back to our camera. Yeah, she's much further away. So now coming back into perspective view, spin the camera around and we can select the camera that we're actually shooting from. And I'm going to add a bit of depth of field and I'm going to have to extend the focal distance quite a bit until it's actually focused on that character. And I think that might be a little bit too big of a, of a focal range. So we'll bring that down. I'm thinking something in that region is probably more what we're after. Going to camera two now, I think that's probably better. So we'll jump back into NVIDIA IRO mode again. And yeah, that now looks that looks much better. Much, much better. She's bokeyed out. It does still kind of look like she's hovering off the floor, which is a bit annoying. So maybe we can drop her down. She's at Y translate. Let's just bring her down to Y translate zero. That's probably a bit too low. Let's try Y translate 70. Come on. There we go. 
see how that looks. Oh, a little bit more, let's try 80 then. See how that looks. Uh, we're getting better, we're getting there. Let's try 90, it was 110 before and she was hovering off the floor. That works, that'll work for me, that's fine. She's not a main feature in the image, she's just a background anyway. This is our main focal point here. Is our character just there? So that looks pretty good. And then obviously in post I can add a few bits and pieces like some light flares around and maybe some kind of fog or steam coming out of the ground because this is, you know, a tenement street and there tends to be steam ducts and things like that around. But either way, the shot at the moment looks pretty good. So I'm gonna warp this back into texture shaded mode and I'm gonna save the scene so that I know exactly what I am saving. I'll just go give that a name and then I'm going to run the render and I will show you the finished result at the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching that guys. I know it was a quick one. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. But until then you take damn good care of yourselves. All right. Bye bye.